very exciting, and oh, fans wow. getting turned on by it. As you go into Bolaños' corner, clearly his best round of the fight. That final minute, probably enough. Well, I can see why your attention has been distracted here, Randall, but that final minute, probably enough to win him the round. Yeah, yeah, I, I gave that round to Bolaños. That last minute, an indicator, perhaps, that Bolaños has figured out De Jesus and De Jesus' corner, expressing concern, now giving him some instruction. Saying, hey, stay tight, Randall, and keep coming up the middle. That was what was yeah. working for him early. Yeah, I think they tell him to keep his movement because when he stood in front of Bolaños, that's when the punches started to land. All right, good round number three so far. Very fast-paced fight. Get a look at action here from round number three. As you see, a uh, near clash of heads there, and then, whoa, oh, great uppercut yeah, by Bolaños. Nice, nice uppercut. Here's round number four, scheduled for eight rounds. The action heating up here at the Hard Rock Live Arena. Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Oh, nice That's a many a great fight and a good start to round number four here for Adelton De Jesus. It's in the camouflage trunks, you see Bolaños, the colors of Mexico. And that's usually representative and indicative, emblematic of some bravery in the ring also. And these guys are great closers that we see from Mexico. It's a tradition with Mexican fighters. Yeah, Mex Mex Mexicans are great fighters. A lot of heart and courage. A lot of bravado and usually tremendous stamina. They tend to get stronger as the fight goes on. And Bolaños may be exhibiting that right now. Yeah, but he got he to gotta let his hands go to do the work for him. Seems like Jesus... A little bit quicker of the two. Maybe a little bit more skill. He has a few more fights in terms of experience, 18 to 15. More knockouts on his resume. First couple of rounds, he controlled the action. Gave them both to De Jesus, and I think we're in agreement. We have it two rounds to one right now for De Jesus. This fight very much up for grabs. Yeah, I think De Jesus is a little more speed and a little more technically sound than Bolaños at this point. What keeps the fighter, Randall, from letting his hands go? It appears so obvious that Bolaños needs to put a little bit more pressure on De Jesus to offset his activity and his aggression in the ring. Well, I guess he's an undefeated fighter, and he has he knows he has knockout power, and he just he looks very tight right now. Frank Gentile, third man in the ring. You would think that last minute of round number three would be encouraging for Bolaños as he again tries the uppercut, but he threw that one without conviction and takes a shot to the body as a result of the miss. Yeah, but De Jesus is right there in his face, and he's he not missing too many punches. Most effective weapon for De Jesus clearly been that left hook going to the body, going downstairs on Bolaños. Bolaños scored to the head big at the end of round number three. Turn your back. Turn your back. Not warning, as uh, now you see DeJesus go southpaw for a split second. Yeah. A move I'll never understand, Randall. I, I don't know that that's really mixing it up enough to make a difference. Wow. Good right hand that time. The short right hand was sweet. Another one. Lead right hand, all of a sudden, the weapon of choice for Adelton DeJesus. Inside of 30 seconds to go, as we approach the midway point, Bolaños fires back now, showing signs of life. And a vicious exchange in the center of the ring. See, Bolaños think he, he, he wait till De Jesus stand in front of him before he throw punches. If De Jesus keep moving, Bolaños don't throw no punches. Sitting on a good one here as we come to the end of round number four. I gave De Jesus that round. I'm with you on that, Randall. It looked like he came back nicely. Reestablished some of the things that were working for him in the first couple of rounds of the fight. And if you were looking at the 12 minutes of action so far overall, Bolaños really has only been dominant for one of those 12 minutes. Yep. And I have him down three rounds to one on the scorecard. Three, yeah, three rounds to one. I, I agree. Big Mexican contingent on hand tonight. And that sometimes can be influential with the judges. Well, Bolaños is going to have to pick it up if he wants to stay undefeated. Interesting is uh, you go against a knockout puncher. Now, you were usually the guy that was doling out the knockouts, but I would imagine sometimes you sense in your opponents they were just happy to survive to the midway point of certain fights. You used to ice him in one, Randall. Yeah, yeah, that was my plan. <laughs> he didn't like to work. Here we go, round number five. Scheduled for eight, super featherweights. Frank Gentile, the referee, has...